Hi everyone, today's video is going to be about those five must-haves when I brought my little newborn home. So let's get started. So when you get that little newborn and you come home, there are some things that you just can't live without. I'm going to share what those five things were for me. Obviously there's way more things that I used when I had him. However, these are the top five that I just cannot see having him without. Like, how could I handle him without these five things? So, number one is the amazing poppy pillow. Now, a lot of you out there probably know what it is. However, there might be some that don't. So, it is a big pillow, kind of looks like a big neck pillow, that sits around your waist, and you're able to hold the baby. It firmly goes on your waist, I mean you can stand up and it's still there. I found this as an amazing tool to help me hold him while he was sleeping or help others hold him. Babies get pretty heavy when, even if they're a little baby, when they're sleeping. So when you're constantly holding them, this pillow is amazing. It also helps with nursing. Um, I use it with bottle feeding also. He sits right here in this little alcove and he's able to drink his bottle comfortably. He's in a nice squishy place and enjoys himself. The Bobby is a must have, would not have been able to have him without it. Regular pillows just didn't work, especially when you got that little tiny newborn. Definitely recommend a Bobby pillow. Now our number two is a sound machine. We use the Munchkin brand. It has a night light, which we actually don't use, but it has six different types of sound. There's some white noise, rain, some lullabies. It has a projector, which he absolutely adores. It has giraffes, sheep, um, there's even an ocean setting. They come with little, these little tiny cartridges. It has a timer, which we don't use because it plugs into the wall. It has a volume control. We crank this thing up, not as loud as it goes, but pretty close. And we're able to do anything that we want to in the house while he's sleeping. We have used this since the moment he came home from the hospital. We use it a few times a day. It's amazing. I believe that's the reason why he sleeps so well. It's because he knows, I hear this music, it's time for bed. He associates bed with this music. And he, he can sleep without it. However, he really doesn't need to. And we take this with us wherever that we can when he needs to sleep. It's amazing would not been able to survive these last nine months without that. Okay, our next one, number three, is our rocker. Now, it's too big for me to show you, so I'll insert a picture. It's amazing. It's a very basic rocker. They make some that are very lavish. However, you don't really need that. It's somewhere comfortable to sit, either while you're breastfeeding, bottle feeding, just rocking with your little baby. They love the feeling of rocking back and forth. I mean, who doesn't? And we still use it today. We sit there, we read books. He doesn't like to be rocked to sleep anymore. However, we still have it in his room and I plan to either have it in his room all the time, maybe pass it down to the next baby. I loved having that time of just sitting with him and rocking. My husband uses it with him also. I used it for a pumping station. It's nice and firm for your back. It's comfortable and you get that soothing motion of rocking back and forth. So I definitely recommend a rocker of some kind many different kinds out there. Number four is his changing table. Now, I'll insert a picture. His changing table is a dresser. So there's the changing pad on top and it has all of his things that he needs for his clothing. And we have a little basket that has all the diapers and wipes and everything in it. I found it amazing to have just some kind of little station where you can change them. I was told you can change your baby wherever you are. Well, that little boy, the moment you open that diaper, it's like a fire hose. Any moms with little boys know exactly what I'm talking about. It was nice to have a little area that had a waterproof pad. If he got pee on the wall, it was just quickly wiped down. It's not somewhere in my house where everybody goes all at all times. It's nice, convenient, it's right upstairs in his room where he doesn't have the distractions of the animals or just TV or anything going on. It's his little place where he knows he's getting his diaper changed and there might be less of a battle if we're doing that 
than if I've got them on the couch or anywhere else. So I really recommend having some kind of little station that's away from everything so you're able to change him. When you have guests over, you don't want to be changing him right there in the middle of everybody. So nice to have that little area that's just for him and you. And anybody can use it. And it's amazing. So I really recommend some kind of changing table, changing station, something for getting those dirty diapers taken care of. Our fifth and final must have, could not have lived without, is a bouncy seat. Now this is the kind that we have. It is older. We did get that from a friend as well, just like our rocker and a bunch of other things. We were very blessed to get um, a friend who was done having babies and just, here you go. It was amazing. So this bouncer seat was perfect. When he was little, he could just fit right in there. Um, I would use it, I would put it in the bathroom where I was taking a shower and I could see him perfectly, I could hear him perfectly. He had some little fish to look at. It used to make some noise and vibrate. Um, he wasn't too sure of the vibration, but he loved the noise. He loves music. It's the best soothing thing for him when he was little and he loves music now. So it was a perfect place to just put him where I knew that he was safe. Of course, I watched him at all times when he's in this bouncer seat. And when he started to be more wiggly and like rolling over, we stopped using it. Um, my baby was a very little baby when he was born, but then got big really fast. And I found that this fit a bunch of different stages. We had another chair that he did sit in a lot. It was more of a downstairs toy. So we had an upstairs one and a downstairs one. And we loved this little chair. It was perfect, we could take it places, and I just, I can't imagine where I would have put him when I need to get stuff done. He didn't like to be held, he wanted to kind of be on his own, and it was a perfect spot for him. So I really hope that you took something from this video, that you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up, Hit the subscribe button if you're new so that you can check out all of my videos. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.